Okay, we got the typical sheet here. Tells you don't return to the store. Hopefully we won't have to do that ever. Let's see what we got here. Oh, looks like our winch switch harness that goes on the handlebars. Whatever. Looks like we got a block and tackle to double our winch's power. That'll probably come in handy. Now I should say that this kit is a little different than the other 3,000 pounder. It comes with seven bonus accessories. And they're all written here. Block and tackle, tree saver, switch, fair lead, extra mount plate, relay, and some wiring. And it's the same price as the other 3,000 pound winch, but this one comes with all the stuff. So, and there's the model number in case anybody wanted to see. Anyway. There's some hardware. Here is the winch plate. I don't think that's going to work. Um, I'm pretty sure I have to buy that fancy Polaris one or just the one that's on Amazon. Um, when I go ahead and order that one there, I'll put a link in the description of the one that I bought and the one that's going to fit. There it is. Oh man, this is awesome. There's the relay. Find a nice spot for that. There's our tree saver. Here's the power cable pack to the batteries. There's the cable hook. The roller fair lead. That's going to be nice. All this stuff feels nice and heavy duty. Instructions, we'll just uh, get rid of those. There we go. Let's check the box. There's no other goodies hiding in there. Nope. Okay, let's get this thing out of this package. Take a look at it. Three horsepower, three thousand pounds. Looks like we have a clutch engagement for pull out. There's all the mount holes on it. I may swap this out for a um, synthetic cable down the road, but I've always had good luck with metal cables I've always taken care of them so they've never really given me any too much grief <clears throat> like I said this one's mainly just for holding the blade up for now we don't do a lot of mudding the wife and I and the kids so <clears throat> let's see why well, that turns nice let's take some of the stuff out of the pattern so we look at it Don't you know? Here's all our cables. Here's the power cable to the relay. And here's our switching cables. In and out. Positive, negative. Put those aside over here. Let's open up this tree saver, have a look at it. Yeah. Put that over here. Put that over here. You know, 
like I said before, I don't think this mount bracket is actually going to work. Because the 2021 Polaris Sportsman's have a pretty specific mount location. So we'll try that. Might try to make this fit and see what happens, but it probably won't. Um, I don't know if you ever tried to price out a Polaris accessories. Um, you're going to spend almost $2,000 for a winch and blade system from Polaris just for the basic one. That's uh, with taxes. Up here in Canada, anyway. Not sure what it would be in the States. Probably. 500 bucks. These rural leads or fair leads should be uh, pretty good on the quad there. <clears throat> but anyway, this winch was only about 199 on sale. It was a heck of a lot cheaper than players. And that blade that's down there. I got that on sale at Canadian Tire as well, and it was only four seventy. No, I think it was only four forty nine on sale. Pretty good deal. So here we go. Here's the the main working relay. It's all color coded. You can't really screw anything up. I've been a mechanic for uh, 25 years or so, heavy duty. So nothing surprises me anymore. And nothing's too hard to do anymore these days. So here's our switch gonna stick up quite a bit on the handlebar but I don't know I'll, I'll see if I can find a nice location for this so it doesn't look too bad I mean yeah that's one thing Polaris's stuff has got going for it it looks really good and it looks like it's made to fit the quad um, that being said I did actually buy Polaris hand warmer kit just for that so it would fit into the new pods I'll just show you guys that in a minute here. I'm going to get this out. There. And our cable hook. Okay. So here's all the stuff unboxed except for the hardware. I'll just leave that there. I might end up using my own hardware. Because this stuff is usually pretty cheesy. But, uh, yeah. So this is the, all the stuff unboxed it's gonna look pretty good on this quad i think so i'll just go show you what i was talking about about those polaris hand warmers yeah so they fit real nice inside this pod and the dash looks really good the wiring it's all internal plug and play it comes out the back around the back and into the and grips super nice nice and warm cold days so I, I don't know probably the the winch mount will probably go here um, I'm not sure if I can get the switch put in the dash but I might do that one day too. put my own switch in buy a Polaris switch just put it in the pod and then wire it up to the pod so it looks a little more plug-and-play <clears throat> And uh, here's the chainsaw mount, the culp and chainsaw mount I put on the back. Got a bungee, I'll probably add another bungee. Might be a bit wobbly back there, but I'll have to take it on a test drive and see what happens. <laughs> I don't know, I'm, uh, I'm very utilitarian. So uh, I like to be prepared when I go places. I see, you know, being a mechanic and having a service truck. It's nice to have everything you need where you go, so I should call this the uh, the Canadian Bush Edition.
I think I think that'll be good. Let's see here. This tip up case is real handy. Got my air compressor, tire repair kit, fold away Swede saw, axe, bounce strap for pulling out, chainsaw, sharpening tools. <clears throat> I even got the uh, um, uh, knife sharpener that's in there too. Anyway, the next video will be the installation video of the winch. We'll put her in the front there. Take out this plastic. Stick it right there in the front. And that that uh, Polaris specific bracket, it looks like bolts into these holes right here on the side. And it fits in a cage right in here. Until next time, we'll see you on the next video.